Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In today's class we are going to study, pouring, cleaning and heat treatment, in foundry practice. We are studying fundamentals of metal casting, and metals for casting. We will cover all related topics one by one. Before starting, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, just click on subscribe, and press the bell icon. Here, we come up with new videos on different subjects, to make the academic studies easier for you. So, into the topic. Moving the molten metal from the melting furnace to the mold is usually done using ladles. These ladles receive the metal from the furnace and allow for convenient pouring into the molds. In this figure, we can see two types of ladles. The figure A, shows crane ladle. And the figure B, shows two man ladle. After the casting has solidified and been removed from the mold, a number of additional steps are usually required. Trimming. Removing the core. Surface cleaning. Inspection. Repair, if required, and. Heat treatment. The steps, 1, 2, 5, are referred to as cleaning. Trimming, involves removal of sprues, runners, risers, parting line flash, fins, chaplets, and any other excess metal from the cast part. Core removal. If cores have been used to cast the part, they must be removed. Surface cleaning, involves removal of sand from the surface of the casting and otherwise enhancing the appearance of the surface, for example using sandblasting. Inspection, to detect the presence of defects, and repairing the castings if possible. Heat treatment, often done to enhance the properties of the castings either for subsequent processing operations such as machining or to bring out the desired properties for application of the part. So, we have studied pouring, cleaning and heat treatment, in foundry practice. Thank you.